Welcome back. In this video series, we're going to take a look at the Import Wizard. The Import Wizard is a tool that is made available to you within Logbook Pro uh, for all versions, standard, professional, and enterprise editions, accessed from the file menu to allow you to import any tab or comma delimited data file. Most applications or uh, logbook software such as Logbook Pro can be exported to a tab or comma delimited data file, a text file. If you are one that created your own database in Microsoft Access or Microsoft Excel, then you too can get your data into Logbook Pro very easily using this import wizard. It is recommended that you format your data as close as possible to the Logbook spreadsheet style entry system. Look at the column layout, look at the data uh, formats, etc., such as your date format, and try to get your formats as close as possible. It's recommended to take your data into a program such as Microsoft Excel, validate your data, make sure you have the minimum required fields, which there are five fields required, which are date, aircraft type, aircraft ident, or N number, your route, and your duration. If you have that or a SIM, if it's a SIM, the SIM can take place of the duration value as one of the required columns. If you have your five required columns, then you can import your data. It is also recommended that if you have columns of data that are going to go into it, options, custom, such as a custom text, custom time, custom counter, expense, etc. type of data field, to create those custom columns first, go into options, custom, create your custom target data fields so that when you use the import wizard those data fields will then be available to you. What I'm going to demonstrate here is the importing of a text file that is delimited, has been prepared for import uh, and reviewed in Microsoft Excel just to make sure the data is exactly as we want it. Um, we'll go ahead and import that data. I've created a dummy database here. It's called Test Import. As you can see, the uh, file name is up on the top of the screen. First thing we do when we click the File Import Wizard is go ahead and select the data file, and it can be a .txt, a text uh, such as a tab delimited data file, comma separated value, CSV, or .tab or ASCII or ASC type of data file. The recommended option is tab delimited, and the reason I say that is some people will use commas in uh, such as the remarks field or a custom text field that they might have. If you uh, put any type of punctuation in there, such as a comma, Logbook Pro during the import process is going to break that column based on the comma delimiter. So it is recommended when you take your data into such as Microsoft Excel or do any type of export, either do a search and replace and purge the commas out of a particular column or do a file save as such as Microsoft Excel and save it to a tab delimited text data file. And then you won't. Then you can leave your punctuation, and it will import properly because it is then going to use tab as the delimiter. In your overwrite mode, if you have an existing logbook, then you can append the data you're importing. What maybe it's a company data file coming from one of your airlines or your aviation employment uh, provider. Uh, you can append to your existing data file, or you can replace it. In replacing it, it is going to purge all of your flight record, uh, flight log, and then. Uh, going to replace it with the data imported from your source data file. Your backup mode, uh, it is recommended to back up prior to import, but if you've already done it manually or you desire not to do a backup, then you can select the option and not back up. Then the other option you need to configure is your time format, such as your duration, your pilot command, second command, solo, etc. You need to tell Logbook Pro what format that source is in. The reason for that is some programs export to, uh, you know, they're using it an hour, an HH call MM format, your real time format, and uh, but usually a program is going to save that in value of minutes. Where the conflict comes in is that you might have, you know, 45 minutes, uh, which is fine, or you might have uh, one hour in a decimal format, but your program is saving that as one instead of 1.0. So when Logbook Pro sees that source value of one, it doesn't know if that's one hour or one minute. So it is important for you to specify the source, which is something we had to add in 1.9,
because of this conflict, to tell Logbook Pro, my data, my flight times are in hours and tenths, hours, colon, minutes, in real-time format, or minutes. And Logbook Pro will automatically take that source data and convert it into Logbook Pro's format of hours and tenths. So you can easily import from any other source if you use minutes or real-time format for your logging and get your data into Logbook Pro. Not a problem. All right, so we specified our data file. As you can see up here, by clicking the Browse button, Logbook Pro, because of the TXT, is going to think it's tab delimited. If it was CSV, it's automatically going to set comma delimited. Or you can override it and select what you need and select the other options, then click Next. Logbook Pro then instantly reads all of your data. If, as in this case, the first row is the column field names or column headers, select the appropriate option. Logbook Pro will promote that row to be a column headers. It is best to keep any punctuation or you know just keep the column headers brief. That's again why if you take it into Microsoft Excel, then you can rename those that first row or the column headers to keep it to be very simple column header names and ones that even match that of the spreadsheet style log area will even help you out even more. You can preview your data and if you see any rows that are blank rows or if you did use Excel and you had summary rows in there, uh, you know, such as formulas, just to you know, do sum a particular uh, column, go ahead and click the X and remove that column. All you want is raw data, otherwise Logbook Pro is going to skip over it. Once you have verified your data, you have set whether your first row contains the field names or column headers, click Next. Now all you have to do is set the source column to the target column. Here we have our date information, so we're going to set that to be the date. And we have the aircraft type, so in that case the aircraft make and model, the aircraft ident, and remember our required fields are date, type, ident, root, and a duration or simulator value. Now Logbook Pro stores its root in a single line entry, if you will, where you can uh, log your entire day's flight activity in one line if you want, or you can use from and to in, uh, for each, each record. Now, if your source data has the from and to columns separate, Logbook Pro is going to bring those together, so you need to just tell it either you already have it in a from to combined, typically the uh, hyphen is the delimiter. It uh, doesn't have to be, but uh, that's what Logbook Pro we suggest you use. But if we've got the from side and the to side, Logbook Pro is going to go ahead and, and merge those for you. So we just, um, you know, if we have the information, we'll just column by column the information that you want to bring in. You don't have to target every column. You know, if you have a, a junk column or a blank column, just leave it blank and it won't, uh, won't come in. All right, let's get the duration, which I believe is the last item we need for the minimum. And once I, yep, now you'll see the import became available because the minimum requires, requirements have been met. Sure, I can bring in the remarks, too. Let's go ahead and get that. And uh, So we have all of our data. Now, it's also not going to let you target multiple columns. So you can't take a duration value. Uh, you can't set the same target based on uh, sources. So it's one source per one target uh, in this particular version. If you have the same format, maybe you're bringing uh, data in from your own Palm Pilot application uh, and or from your company's export of your flight log data, uh, and it comes in the same format every time. You can actually save your column to target, uh, your source to target uh, template, so the next time you come back to the import wizard, instead of picking columns every time, if your data is exactly arranged, and I emphasize exactly, as it was in the time you save your template, you can load a template, and it will automatically set your source and target pairings for you. So you only have to do it once if your source data is always the same. Click the Import button. Uh, because I elected to do a backup, uh, and then the import process is happening. Remember, we have almost 1,100 records uh, being imported now. It is doing a validation as well as the uh, import process. So as you can see, this import wizard can come very in very uh, useful for bringing in data from any source, or if you're transferring from another program, or you have your own electronic log, then you can use this import wizard to bring in your data. 
Uh, if you're using the Palm Companion or the Pocket PC Companion, there's no reason to use an import wizard. It will actually synchronize from the PDA right in the Logbook Pro. But if you have your favorite PDA uh, programs, most Palm programs uh, do export into a comma-separated value format so that you can import that uh, very simply into Logbook Pro. The Import Wizard is available in the Evaluation Edition as well. Uh, the Evaluation Edition of Logbook Pro uh, is limited to 50 entries. So this is only to allow you to see that the Import Wizard will work for you, which is why we have allowed uh, the import wizard uh, to actually be using the evaluation edition, but it will not import data to exceed 50 log entries. So if you've already imported 50, it is not going to import anymore. If you've imported 30 on one try and then you want to do another import run, then it will only import the 20 remaining records. Once you hit the 50 entry limit, the import procedure will stop. As you can see, we, we uh, completed the import process, and Logbook Pro says, all right, We've added aircraft to the options aircraft area. Uh, in other words, it imported flight log entries. It went in and, and determined that you don't have that aircraft specified already in the options aircraft area. So it needed to make that entry because it's a requirement for a flight log entry to have an aircraft in the options aircraft area. So Logbook Pro is saying, hey, we need to go ahead and fix that. So here are the entries uh, of the aircraft that were imported. Now please go in and completely... Uh, configure this so we can give you the most information uh, in the reports and summaries, analyzer, etc. So let's go ahead and take a look at our import results. And I think we had 1,096, I can't remember, 1,095. Uh, that's right, because of the column header row. And you can see that I just imported all of this data, almost 1,100 rows, in a matter of seconds. You can see I concatenated the from and to. My duration values are in, the landings, it's just that easy with the import wizard to get your data into Logbook Pro. In this video, we discuss the import wizard, the ability to import tab or comma separated value data sources into Logbook Pro. Thank you for watching this video.